viewers, you are watching your favorite entertainment show, The Celebrity Gossip on Better Future Production with your host, Fatma Tajala. This is how we do it each and every week. With me, I have a special person in the building today. I'll allow him to introduce himself. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, Fatma Tajala. Yo, what's up, Gabriel? It's your one and only favorite boy, Uche. Uche. Uche made it on the beat. Um, please tell us what's your real name. My name is Uche Zamani. Okay. That's when did you start um, producing? Um, started producing. All, I've been producing all my life, but professionally, in Gabi, I started producing in 2017. Okay. November 15, 2017. Okay. When did you realize your talent in production? Ever since I was a kid, when I was around 13, 14, mm -hmm. I, used to, I used to make my own personal songs in the house, in my room. Okay. I had my little studio and stuff. And that was it from there, singing in the church, making my own beats, making my own music. Then somebody told me I got to do it outside for Gami. I never thought I was going to do it for Gami, but it is what it is. Okay, that's a multi-talent. It means you are multi-talented. You sing, you produce, and a lot more, right? Yeah. Okay, um, what inspired you into production and singing? Um, production? I never wanted to be a producer. Okay. I always wanted to do music like mm -hmm. sing music and stuff but I'm a Gambian like it's very hard especially if you're not Gambian mm -hmm. it's very hard for you to like to to be recognized in the music industry especially if you don't understand the language or you can't speak the language so I, I was always having a hard time trying to get into the music scene so then it was just a strategy it was a plan I had to switch sides since I was the one producing my own songs so I'm gonna try and push, start to produce for other Gambian artists, so I could get my name out there, and then use that popularity to get back into the singing. Okay, um, we were working with uh, Gay Life. Yes. Why did you quit? Did you have problems with them <laughs> or any personal issues, or you just decided to quit and start up your own? Wait, don't make production. me feel like like you had a background check of it. No, 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 and Tambo and like we was good, we was doing music together, we did a whole lot of stuff. And Momonica, one of the main reasons Luta Magina exposed to Gabby music. So I'm thankful to J Life. I know we don't have problems, we're good, we still talk once in a while. I just decided to, to get my own, my own thing going. So I guess that doubt is clear. Okay, now we go to the next. Um, this topic of discussion. What's your secret, Uche? We've seen different Gambian artists, big artists coming to you for production. Mm. Uh, you'll be like uh, making beats for them. What is your secret? My secret? Mm -hmm. What well, my secret? Thing. I'm a secret. I big just... artists, you've been doing your Uche, Uche made it on the beat. Uche made it on the beat. Ah, you've been doing your Uche, Uche made it on the beat. Ah, you've been doing your Uche, Uche made it on the beat. Ah, you've been doing your Uche, Uche made it on the beat. Ah, you've been doing your so I thank him too much for the talent he's giving me. Okay. And it's just God, dedication, hard work. Hang on. Purnit Mood realize, for one person to realize his talent is one thing. For every other person around you to appreciate talent um, is another thing. And hang on. I think Kuneka si live, I have a luba. And guy feel ne come soon buge soon worry am luba si man regular come na am so I feel like that's the only reason why they come to me. Man, I'm young and wah ne o yani ka the best producer in the Gambia. I am the best producer in the Gambia. Ah, I'm working in the most. This is what I have. This is what I know. Lila gum ne danga am confidence sabo pa ne danga gum sabo pa te uche na he believes in himself. He said he is the best uh, music producer in the Gambia. Come back more cover from the house is mad not me. Um, better yerek um new line na. Yo, you need to know what artists. Yo, you need to be nice and songsy. 
This is the celebrity gossip. We'll gossip, and every every um, every other um, guest that I have in the studio will have to be part of it. So I'm just asking him questions. He has to flex and answer me. I'm asking him. The people out there are saying that he writes song for some Gambian artist. I want him to say it right here, right um, right now, for the viewers to know. <laughs> yo, 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 what do you guys say hot soup I, right I now? Hot soup. <laughs> you have to make everything clear. That's what the people are saying. Now you have to clear everything for the people to know. Um, what about the wager guy? It's not about wager guy. Okay. I, I'm not. I'm definitely not gonna sit down here and start calling names and stuff. Okay. But yeah, I think it's part of my work too. It's part of it's part of what I do. I'm a producer. They don't always book a come. Lugena Simon, Mutanga. On point. Let it be something every other person out there can feel. And some people, like you need every other person to come on board just so you can have the perfect output. And I think sometimes any artists then they wanna request some of my services when it comes to things like that, because some of them know that I don't just only produce that way. Okay. And I could I could come up with concepts that other people could not come up with. It's just it's just life. It's arts. Understand. So yes, that one would have been that way for some people, and there are a couple of Gambian songs here they can see Gambia right now that I personally wrote, maybe personally sang, my different bit be you know, and they just sing it. They come then, they reconstruct new work and stuff. Okay. I think it's only normal because I've seen other producers outside the world doing the same thing. Understand? So it's not a bad thing. And yes, I write songs for Gam some Gambian artists, not all, but some. Okay, we will learn. You know, we're gonna have female celebrity gossip. Everything will be clear here on this platform. Uh, we go straight to the other topic. Um, how do you see the Gambian music industry currently compared to previous years? Yeah, Gambian music. Gambian music has grown. Okay. I thank myself because I think I have a part to play in the growth of Gambian music. Like I told you before, I think I'm the best producer Gambia has ever had. Okay. And. Shout out to other producers, because if not for them to come, the dedication and the hard work that they put in this, like Gammy Music couldn't have been where Gammy Music is. So Zimman, I think Gammy Music has been all about the producers, a couple producers that I know. I'll give a quick shout out to Hakeem. He's like Gambia's head. He's like our finest one of our finest producers that's, all, that's been there like from, from the start. And shout out to Stylus. I already gave my shout outs to J Life, shout outs to ND Official, and other producers trying to make sure they come. Gammy music gets to the level it's supposed to it's supposed to get to. Gammy music, previously, I can't say trash, but it was not exactly at standard Bun Bugon. Understand? Mm -hmm. Come someone could not proudly say I am Gambian and I am a musician. Okay. I wanna understand. But now seeing the fact that come Kuneka of Abuga Venture into music. Every young lad out there wants to do music just because they feel like there is a certain hope that they have to make sure they, like their, their level of music in this music industry gets to a certain point. I think that's a plus for Gambian music. And Gambian music has thrived over the years, especially last, last couple, three years, but just come three years ago, Gambian music was not at this level. Right now, Nyingam Adijimuna Fesa Esta. We have people filling up stadiums, we have people filling up events and stuff. So I think Gami music, yes. Chikao Sikanam. Chikao Sikanam. Growing bigger and better. Better every day. Yana Wagena Ham. What is your relationship uh, with your fellow producers? Yeah, I have a good working relationship with my fellow producers. Okay. Sometimes we liaise with other producers, try to come together to form something. You understand? Like better sound. There are some couple of sounds you want to know. So they bring me on board. There are some selling sounds. So I have to bring one or two people on board. Just bring your hamne. What's right and what's wrong? I think I have a good working relationship with almost every producer out there. And especially producers on the rise. 
Okay. And some people also say that uh, most of you producers are only in for your pockets, uh, meaning you can just take any artist at random and uh, produce for the artist or just record for the artist just for the benefit of what you're going to gain, like the monetary gain. Mm -hmm. But sometimes what most of these artists sing is work. What's your say to that? That's true. And I'm sure some of some artists are watching right now and they can attest to the fact that I don't record everybody. I have a couple of people that I work with. And if I don't see potential in what you're doing, I try to direct you. And if I see that directions is not working, I don't work for you. So I don't work for everybody. I only work with people I feel like this now future see guy. And people say, obviously we have to feed. We're doing music, even though we're doing it for the love of music, but there's something getting into our pockets because of the music we're doing. So it's, it, that's, that's a part of it, but not every producer out there works just for money. Sometimes we have to look at the artist's potential. And because Sumo Turbi is at stake, no matter over the couple of years, I've, been trying, I've, been, I've tried so hard to put my consistent, see the type of songs I make. From, from the first song I made to the most recent song I, I just made, Bugina already, mm -hmm. is a hit song. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you understand. Like, no song in the history of Grammy music have ever had a 1.5 to 6 going to 2 million streams in a month. Musuta mm Am. -hmm. And that, the most recent song, that song, is the song, it's a song I produce. Mm -hmm. So trust me, it's not about the money. It's about the love for the music and how, how willing we are to make sure Gamma music gets to another level so that we can have more music to put out to the world. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, we'll just let you do some freestyle for us here in the building. Bye, and you put it My guess a video moving on. It's a very nice video, and this song was dope. So I would like you to give us a little freestyle here. You know, we have a Do I Do I got to do a freestyle? Of course you have to. My name is Ah, uh huh. Of course. Ah, uh, boy, this one is hard. Well, my name is Tudirek. Yeah, I'm gonna have. Where is Adu Rusdi? No, not Adu Rusdi. I just made you rek. No, boy. Wow. I better see. Entertainment, lah, nak. Devil film, we just do it. New year, not. Okay. Mhm. I thought I was your David, though. Cause I gave you assurance I gave you assurance yeah. But now you wanna let me go Girl you spoiling all my plans You scarred all my plans Yeah yeah If you cannot love me now If you cannot love me now Don't love me later Don't love me later If you cannot call me now if you cannot call me now, don't call me later. Don't call me later. Ah, <laughs> oh my God, I just love that. That was a bad thing, you know. But hey, let me ask you this. Are you in a relationship? That song, or were you betrayed? Were you disappointed or what? Did you have a heartbreak? <laughs> you have to make it clear here. Because that song, there's something about that song. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on, come on. Just tell me. Are you in a relationship or you had a heartbreak? That's why you're singing that song or what? We have we want to know. Well, mm -hmm. coming from me, currently I am the most single person out there. Really? And people are not gonna believe this, but I'm not in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And yes, I had my heart broken. Okay. But it's chill. I'm good. I hope you won't go home and then your woman will be like, so you came to, to, to the TV and you were saying that you were single while you were dating. Well, I hope you won't have that problem. Even if I had a woman mm -hmm. that is going to tell me that after this show, mm. I think from there onwards, she'll know that I am a single person because she'll leave. Really? I will not be in a relationship. Okay, ladies, start bringing in your applications to me. Nah. And I'll select who's going to be the right person for him. Nah, right? nah, <laughs> nah. Of course. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, no problems. Um, who is your favorite Gambian artist? Ooh. Yes, you're a producer. You you produce a different artist. So obviously, you should have a favorite artist. Who is your favorite Gambian artist? My favorite artist is not is not even out there yet. Okay. Like there's this guy, 
I work with over over time and many people be asking me the same question on my Instagram but I like him he's good he's talented and he's humble okay. you know he's humble and he listens I don't know if you know him his name is Ben Benek Benek yeah yeah I, do. I like Ben okay. for some reason I do it's not like he's like there are other people I don't like working with okay. but he's one person I admire, I admire. yeah so I think for now Ben Benek will do Shout outs to you, Benik. You have an admirer right here. Yeah. Um, before getting to the end of the show, I'd like you to give your final message to your fellow producers, um, the Gambian artists, and the Gambian population at large. Yeah, I want to say thank you to my fans, thank you to my family, and everybody working hand in hand in making sure Gambian music gets to the level it's supposed to get to. I appreciate you, and we love you. And to all my producers out there, I say thank you. And special thanks to everybody watching this show right now, the cameramen, my family, and shout outs to you, Fatmata Jao. You. And if you are an aspiring artist out there and you wanna you wanna do something for yourself, you always have to listen. You have to put in time, you have to put in work, you have to research, you always have to put out good music, and every other thing is gonna work out for you. Thank you so much, viewers. Um, this is all we had for you. But I would do justice if I don't give thanks to Salima Beauty for this uh, beautiful makeup, for making me look so glamorous and super beautiful. This is all we had for you on this episode of the Celebrity Gossip. Till we come your way next, thanks for watching.